Well, Tulare County Sheriff Mike Boudreau will face off against Assemblyman Vince Fong in the special runoff election after receiving just under 26% of the votes. He trails Fong, who currently holds around 42% of the vote. The results are on your screen here. Eyewitness News reporter Celine Stevens is here to break down what could happen next in this race. Celine, what can you tell us? Michael, Mike Boudreau will be moving on to the special election runoff at the end of May. He'll be up against fellow Republican Vince Fong, who he'll also be running against in November's general election, all for the 20th congressional district seat. I sat down with Boudreau and spoke with a political science professor to learn more about how these races just might shape up. I'm very curious to see how the campaigns look come middle of summer um, when they really start to ramp up and to see if, you know, Boudreau has a, a tact that will put him in contention. Tulare County Sheriff Mike Boudreau moves forward to face Assemblyman Vince Fong in May to see who will finish out the remainder of former House Speaker Kevin McCarthy's term in the 20th District. Friday, the Associated Press called the race, with Boudreau advancing to the runoff election with only a 3% lead over Democrat Marisa Wood. Still, UC Merced political science professor Nathan Monroe says with these two candidates both being Republicans, votes could shift at any point between May and November. The outcome and split that happens in May, you know, may or may not be very indicative of what we should expect in November election. The configuration of the vote of the, the, the voters and the turnout is going to change pretty dramatically. I also spoke with Boudreaux shortly after the results broke, who says he's feeling confident. Our message has really been that we're working for everyone in this district, not just one party or the other. I can come in as the law enforcement candidate, the law and order candidate holding people accountable with real life experiences that I can take to D.C. Fong has endorsements from former President Donald Trump and McCarthy, while Boudreaux has endorsements from multiple law enforcement agencies as well as fellow candidate Kyle Kirkland. With Wood taking a decent chunk of votes, Monroe says where those Democratic votes go next is the real X factor. Boudreaux, at least early, was kind of pitching himself as a kind of Trump Republican. And then, of course, Trump endorsed Fong. And so you get this, you know, sort of curiosity. Well, is Boudreaux going to sort of move and hop to the middle? Um, certainly that's Boudreaux's best play. And it seems like Boudreaux is already on that track. How do you plan to sw potentially sway the Democratic vote, maybe take those voters? I have a long track record of serving people, not just serving a party. And I think that's the greatest uh, influence that I would have as a sheriff coming into this race. Still, Monroe says with Fong's lead, Boudreaux could still fall short, even if he collects all other votes. We're not really seeing, uh, I think, uh, the makings of a race where Boudreaux naturally is going to overtake Fong. I'm not saying it can't happen, but I'm saying that I, I think that it's, a, it's still Fong's seat to lose. Now that runoff election date is set for May 21st to fill the remainder of McCarthy's term through January. After that, the election on November 5th will determine who will officially hold that 20th district seat starting next year. Live in studio, Celine Stevens, Eyewitness News.